What's up, powerful people, and welcome back to Snake Feathers Presents The Adventures of Clint Swift. This is episode 5, and today we are going to make it through Mount Moon. And I, I've officially decided that uh, no matter how long it takes, we're getting through Mount Moon today. It might be an hour and a half long episode. Who knows? But I am Eli, a.k.a. Super Kid, a.k.a. Clint Swift, a.k.a. The Man in the Zebra Print Headband, a.k.a. Mama There Goes That Man in the Zebra Print Headband. Shout out to Mark Jackson. And I am having a fantastic day. I hope you are as well. Let's get going. Whoo. Okay. Looks like we're alright. To keep proceeding through the cavernous cave that is Mount Moon. I'm going to fight this cacturn. I like that it has the E at the end. It's, it's nice and fancy. Let's go for a quick attack. And he's gonna hit me with a poison sting, and that's gonna be super effective. Oh, it didn't poison me. I was almost sure it was going to. I feel like I always get poisoned. <laughs> but, uh, oh, after this battle, I, I'm all over the place, people. My apologies. I'll give a quick team recap before we get too far into it. My bad. <laughs> Okay, first off we got Slivia, the Grovile, um, what level is she? 19. And uh, she's got the Sturdy ability, Quick Attack, Absorb, Pursuit, and Spark, which we taught her with the TM, which was pretty cool. Next we got Grendel, our starter, also a Grovile, level 25, Pursuit, Fury Cutter, Absorb, and Quick Attack. And bringing up the rear we got Owen, level 17, Delibird, who knows present. And... Uh, like I said in the last episode, he actually does get to learn some um, TMs, which is good. Let's see what that item up there is. Let's go Master Ball. Not a Master Ball. Not even close. <laughs> well. Alright. Yeah, so Owen, oh, he can learn Fly eventually, which is definitely awesome. I'm down with that. What's this item going to be? Calcium. Alright. I'm into that. Uh, what's this guy gonna do? What do you got, man? Uh, this is risky. I'm nervous. Hopefully we don't lose anything. What do you got? What do you got? Okay, he's got two mons. Porygon. That's cool. I like Porygon. Digital styles. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Let's see. I'll go quick attack. Hit him with the quickness. He goes for agility. I'll just quick, keep quick attacking you. I, I don't have to though. Oh, he must have. He must have. Uh, excuse me. My goodness. Rain dance. Or no. What's the name of the ability that brings the rain? Mm, drizzle. That's what it is. Sounds like Pelipper has it. Um, yeah, that's cool. I'd like a. I'd like a Porygon. Hit me with a side beam. That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna smash you. We're gonna get through this cave today. And we're gonna come out and we're gonna be right at uh, Cerulean City. Right, almost ready to fight the rival. That's gonna be fun. Fardo's gonna go down. I didn't even pay attention to who's coming out. Magikarp. <laughs> Here I was worried. Let's go for an absorb. Super effective. Get a little health back, get one get a little Oko, a little Oko action. I'll take it. I'm down with that. Slivia levels up. Level 20. This is up. And we won. We won, people. Congrats to us. Um, do I have any healing items? Seven potions. Nice. <laughs> oh shit! What's up? That's not a good matchup for me, but I am ten levels higher, so shouldn't be that big of a deal. Hit it with the quick attack, Nidorino from the title screen of title screen fame. <laughs> uh, oh, golly, golly G. Slivia is a beast in her own right. <clears throat> Damn, that was quick. Didn't you see what happened to your friend? 
Just got bodied by Slavia. Feel the same. The same fate to befall you. Focus energy. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Oh, man. I'm so... I'm so disappointed at how long it took to get to the point that we were in the cave before. And that I didn't just buckle down and finish it, you know? Finish him. Uh, him being the cave. That is Mount Moon. Um, but yeah, like I say, from now on, even like Rock Tunnel, I don't care. I don't care how long it takes me, I'm gonna get through each cave in one episode. Because nobody wants to watch me struggle my way through Mount Moon for like three episodes. Screw that. Least of all me. And, uh, I don't know. It'll be kind of cool. Every now and then they'll just be like, oh, a little bonus. You know, like you watch TV shows and every now and then they had like a double episode. And like, oh, tight. Two of them today. There you go. That's what you're working with now. With the cave ones, maybe. Maybe I'll just race through them and like it'll only take as long as a normal episode. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. But who knows? Who knows the future? Who can who can pull out their crystal ball and discern the future? Not I. Not I. Man, I love that you have running shoes in this game. The running shoes are just so killer. Good golly. Miss Molly. This place is lousy with Nidorans, or Nidorinos, I, I should say. It's just a ton of them. I'm not digging it. Wow, it was on 1 HP. What is this, Pimp Knight? Shout out to Pimp Knight. Um... <laughs> I'm actually getting through here much faster than I thought now. I don't, I don't know why I was expecting this to be so long. You know what? Uh, why don't you give me one second? Okay. Went ahead and started the timer just in case I do get through here faster than a regular episode, so. Chances are we won't, but possibly. This might just end up being a little bit longer than a normal episode anyway. I'm not sure. Either way, you're getting bonus time, people. And we are... about to get to the fossil spot, I think. I can't I can't remember exactly what... what we're about to encounter. Zubat. That's a pretty normal Pokemon for a randomizer. Zubat has Drizzle as well, huh? How do you like Spark? Mr. Rainy Zubat. Boom. Didn't like that one bit. Did you? Did you? And Slavia is just a... She's a beast, just like her sister. Venomoth. Uh, nah. Might as well just train Slavia up to the level that Grendel's at, because they're basically the same. Slavia has a little bit different coverage. Why am I explaining that to you? you people all know that, but... <clears throat> I don't know. Just talking. Just thinking out loud here, folks. Um, I believe I already asked this, but uh, how's your day going? Let me know in the comments. How's your day? How um, how was your week? Today's, well, it's not Friday for me, but this episode's going up on Friday, so uh, hopefully you had a great week and you have big, exciting plans for the weekend that you have to look forward to. That's my hope for all you people. Um, I am looking forward to, in the coming week, recording more content, starting the recording of the new series that we've got dropping on uh, Halloween. That's pretty exciting, huh? Mystery series. Go check out Instagram, SnakeFeathersYT on Instagram, uh, and you might be able to figure out what the series is going to be before it comes out. And if you do, props to you. I'm not established enough to be like giving away anything at this point, but someday that would be great. So, uh, to that end, why don't you go ahead and, uh, oh shit, citrus berry. I'll take that. Why don't you go ahead and, uh, like this video, comment on it, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Go over and 
follow me on Instagram and at, on Twitter at, uh, at SnakeFeathersYT. And let's just build this community up, people. And then someday I'll be able to give away cool shit to you just for being a fan. So that that's, that's just a win-win. Everybody wins in that. <sighs> Except Hitmonchan, who I am hoping to defeat. Wow, that... I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Did more damage than I wanted it to. Don't do it again. Do something else. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Revenge only doubles in power. I don't think it, like, accounts, like, takes into account how much damage you did to the, the one using it. I don't think. Sceptile? Oh my. It's Mama. Mama's home. <laughs> oh god. Uh, Grendel's mom in, uh, the book Grendel and the, you know, the old legend, Beowulf, is also a monster, and she's no fun. She's not a good, uh, she's not a good time hanging out with her, so. I, I guess this is technically Grendel's dad, since it's male, and we just put him in his place. Uh, Ludicolo. Ludicolo is my favorite Gen 3 mon. Just uh, FYI, I really, really like him. He's just so fun. He's dancing. He's got the cool hat. He's just the shit. What? Well, who? Who could have a problem with Ludicolo? And then just body the squad, the squadron. And I don't, I don't believe it really matters which fossil we take. I mean, they're both going to be randomized. So I, I don't know. Helix is a cooler word. <laughs> I'll go with that. Yep, got the Helix Fossile. <laughs> wow, this has taken like no time compared to what I thought it was going to. We're like pretty much out now. Dragon Scale. Alright. I think that's the exit, right? Boom. Wow. Man, I really... I, I don't know, I just did not expect to make such quick work of it. Let's see what these guys are going to teach us. These are the trainer, the uh, tutors up here. Is he actually going to teach uh, Mega Kick, or is it like, you know, I don't know. But I'm not sure if this move, if the tutors are randomized, I can't remember. I, mean, I don't, I don't, it doesn't look like I did it, but I can't tell. So... I guess we'll find out. Can anyone learn to make a punch? Slivia and Grendel? Hmm. Mudshot. Wow, that was loud, sorry. <laughs> uh, what is Mudshot going to help me against? Fire? Yeah, I'll use it. I'll do that. Um, get rid of Quick Attack. Go for the mud shot. Get a little fire coverage on here. Grendel is a pretty good mon now. Well, not like all of a sudden or anything, but... Um, do I have any balls? No. Okay. Pretty sure you can go um, to Celadon and still get into that grass. Let's get this Master Ball real quick. TM37 Magical Leaf! Can Owen learn that? No. Hmm. Slavia can. Let's see. Uh, I kind of like Absorb, but it's not very strong. Let's let's get rid of Absorb. And, uh, that's cool. Now we have, now we have a move that can't miss, so I can't accuracy hacks us out. Thank goodness. Oh, I... Damn, seriously? No, wait, I think you can go down. Yeah, okay, cool. I was like, I guess we're gonna have to come back for that encounter. But, we don't. Which is awesome. Let's go ahead and heal. And go get some Pokeballs. 
and I'm gonna I'm gonna get this encounter over here to the west but like I was saying before I kind of want to wait until we get great balls because there's so many encounters right around here and they're like really close to together it seems like it would be good to like wait come back later assuming we make it that far uh, and get a bunch of encounters with great balls instead but I like that idea Ugh. Okay, nine. Nine Pokeballs. And there's a whole bunch of trainers to fight around here. And obviously you get the nugget as well, so I won't be hurting for money for too long. Uh, okay. Let's go get the encounter. Route four. What are you gonna be? Something good, something power. Okay. Zangoose. Take a Zangoose. It's not bad. Uh, let's see. Can I catch it? Can I just catch it? Let's see. It's only level eight. That'd be pretty sweet. Two, three. Hey! Nice, man. That's that's fantastic. Zangoose. What is up? Yes, we will name Zangoose. And uh, I've been waiting for this one. An android. It's the name of the Zangoose. My fair lady. <laughs> Alright. An android is on the squad. She has an item. What are you holding? Let's just check everything out, actually. Uh, Hyper Potion. That's pretty cool. Got the Illuminate ability, which raises the encounter rate. Might be kind of annoying. And you got Scratchler and Quick Attack. Very cool. See if you can learn any of these TMs we got. Okay. Bone Club, that'd be cool. No. Confusion? No. Grendel and Slivy, okay. I still want to keep that one for a Psychic type if I can ever get one. That'd be great. Skitty. I'm glad we got Zangus. I mean, Skitty's fine, I guess. I don't know. I've never really used Sk bleh, never really used Skitty, so I don't I don't know much about it. I know it can mate with uh, Waylord. Everybody finds that hilarious. So there's that. There's that much information we have. Um, <laughs> other than that, I know very little. Uh, practically nothing. Speed boost. I didn't notice that the first turn. But whatever. We have quick attack. We don't care about your boosted speed. Oh, man. Another skitty. Go over there and uh, heal up and fight the rival. Let's get Fardo another L on his record. Uh, first, we have to beat Skitty, though. Zangus. Banandroid, come through. I love that name. I just think it's super funny. I don't know why it tickles me. It tickles me pink. I'm tickled pink. The moon is yellow. Name that song. Uh, if you can't name the song, it's from a game. Well, at least I heard it in a game. It's much older than the game. But if you can just name the game that it's from. You, get, you win. Let me know in the comments below. Another Zangoose? Oh yeah, I forgot about the Illuminate thing. I was like, damn. Can't get out of this grass. Uh, it has Scratch. I don't want it to crit me. Wow. Rip the dream. Damn it. I was so excited about the name. Fuck, man. We got another death now. Damn it. I predicted that, too. That sucked a lot. 
Oh well. Oh well. Uh, I'm actually gonna take the item first. Man, I'm so deflated. I'm sorry, people. That... I don't know. I can believe it. I fucking predicted it. Of course I can fucking believe it. That's a Nuzlocke, man. That's, that's how it goes sometimes. Super sad. <laughs> Fuck. Oh well. Maybe I don't need to forego all those encounters forever. After all. We'll see. Let's see what Fardo has to say. Watch him just put us away. Put us out of our misery. No, he's not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do nothing like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you this a fucking Entei? He has it. Are you. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> oh, good thing I have Mudshot. Fuck you, Entei. Whoa! Okay. Get the Karmic Crit back. Man, oh man. And a. Wow. Combuskin? Is Combuskin flying? Please, I... I can never remember. Yes, thank God. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, that was unlucky, huh? And a Seeking. Yeah, I'll change. I've got a Slavia. Hit you with the Spark. Man. Rip an Android, dude. I was so... So happy about the name. I mean, we're gonna have to get a banana droid too. That's just gonna happen. Like rest assured. <laughs> Man, we just destroyed Fardo. Destroyed. I think that was it. I, I think he only has three. Oh, he has one more. Oh, yes. And it's just another one that we can annihilate. This is great. Uh, yeah, magical leaf, dude. See ya. Peace. Thanks for playing Pwned Whiskash. You've been it. Rich Girl Fardo. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Damn right I won. Clint Swift, aka the man in the zebra print headband, aka Mama, there goes that man in the zebra print headband. Shout out to Mark Jackson. Shut up about Bill, dude. Nobody asked you about Bill or the storage system or anything. You lost. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Here, take this. The fame checker. Isn't that... Can you use that to... It's like, uh, find other people to fight or what? I don't remember what that is. I never really do that... That stuff. Uh, just play through the story. Um... But now we can go up and fight the Nugget Bridge. See if we can get through the Nugget Bridge today. That'd be that'd be good. I'd be satisfied with that. And get a couple encounters in the next episode. Make our way up to Bill. And then after that, fight the gym. Get our second gym badge. Man oh man. So exciting. So excited to be on this ride with you people. Do I think I have what it takes to beat you five schmucks? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Aaron. Okay. Go for the old one shot. Ho <laughs> ho. Should uh, put you down. The one hit KO. Classic one hit KO move from Grin. Camera up. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna stay in with Grendel. I know that's. It's not a good typing. Wow, I'm 16 levels higher. I'm gonna hit you with a super effective one shot. Good night, bro. Uh, I can't remember. Good night. Good night. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Grendel grew to level 27. What is up? Man, we're getting close. Close to a septile. Crobat. Yeah, I'll change to Slybia. Hit you with the spark. The ingenious spark. Alright. I like Crobat. It's a very strange design, though. 
It's a really, really good mon, but it looks so weird. It took me a long time to come around about it. It's just like a body and four wings. And just, I don't know. How would you fly like this? It doesn't, doesn't make much sense to me, but... I don't care. Not everything has to make sense. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna stop learning Screech. I don't care about Screech. Wow, wow. Yeah, I'll change back to Grendel and hit you with that mud shot. I'm already super glad that I taught it to Grendel. Well, to to one of them. That I got mud shot. That's really what I meant to say. <laughs> I'm super glad that I got mud shot. That covers a good amount that I didn't have anything to hit with, so that's pretty cool. Kind of makes up for uh, losing Banandroid. But nothing could ever really replace Banandroid in our hearts, people. But, you know, life continues, life goes on. How many Banandroids fell victim to the streets? That's what you really gotta ask yourself. It'd be a lie if I said that I never thought of death. It almost fits, and I have more Pokemon than it, than it's not true. But I just wanted to say, me and Grendel were the last ones left. Well, life goes on, but it, of course, Grendel is not the only Pokemon we have left. A shout out to Tupac, anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's such a good song. <sighs> Excuse me, a little mini yawn there. Azural, Azural. Uh, goodbye, bro. Level 12 is zero. Had its energy drained. Over for the tail whip. Looks like we may have leveled up higher than we needed to, but my god, you never know, man, with these Nuzlocks. It's scary, uh, you... The, one of these trainers could have, like, Mewtwo, Dialga, or Quaza. Like, that could be their team. x -Plab. I like x a lot. He's so cool looking. He kind of reminds me, he reminds me of both of like a, uh, an exhaust system on like a motorcycle and also like a pipe organ. I think he's supposed to look like an organ, kind of. Well, maybe, I mean, both of those things are like push, pushing out sound, so he could be both of those. They both work. Um, but yeah, I just really like him. He's super cool. And I feel like, uh, I like, I like normal types a lot, and he's like a really strong, like, special normal type, which is cool. Shellgon. Man, I miss you, buddy. Miss you a lot. Keep Grendel in. Okay, don't really have anything to hit this guy with. Uh, let's go for Mudshot, why not? Does it drop the accuracy? I think it can, yeah. Yeah, or speed. Yeah, speed. Not as big of a deal in this, but whatever. Alright. Boom. Two down. Three to go. Well, kind of four, because that last guy fights you too. Uh, that tries to recruit you to Team Rocket. How could you lose? Well, schoolboy Landon came up against Grendel. The baddest Mamma Jamma in all of Kanto. Number three. This is Clown claiming. This is another cop Mike. Didn't we already fight a cop Mike? No, I said he was the youngest, the youngest cadet in the history of the force. <laughs> uh, shit. Heracross. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't. I don't like it, people. Just get that through your heads. He's going for Leer. That scares me a lot. I'm going to switch, actually. I'm going to go to Slavia. I don't want him to hit me really hard and take out one of my uh, Groviles. I just don't want that. Let's see what Spark does to him. Should at least be neutral. There we go. Horn attack. Come on, bruh. You gotta come correct if you're gonna come at all. Hair cross is down. Excellent. Excellent news. Cascoon. Yeah, I'll switch to. I'll, I'll throw Owen in there for Cascoon. He can handle a Cascoon, get a little bit of experience. 
I just need to find a TM that he can learn. Oh, great. That's cool. Sweet. We got to waste the one... One sec. Sorry about that. I had a update thing pop up on my computer, but I did not. I did not elect to update as we are currently recording. So we are back here fighting Cascoon with Owen. He's doing like a truly embarrassingly low amount of damage with these presents. I know the thing's hardening, but it's kind of unacceptable, Owen. Um, I'm just, like, thoroughly unimpressed with Owen so far. Uh, if, if you like Delibird, I'm sorry for criticizing it, but uh, he's just not... He's not getting any jobs done. He can't take out a Cascoon that he's a higher level than. That's not good enough. <laughs> it's just not good enough. Um... This Fury Cutter, I guess. At least it'll get stronger and... Like, this is insane. How... Owen, you suck, man. <laughs> uh... I'm really disappointed in Owen, people. That's it. That's all the negativity, though. That's all, That's it. Grendel and Slavia are kicking ass, taking names. Owen doesn't deserve any of that experience. Um... And that's my real feelings on the matter. Those are my true feelings, people. Uh, okay, looks like we got about 10 minutes left, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Go ahead and heal up here. Take on the remainder of the trainers on the bridge. See if we can't catch one of these encounters over. There's one to the west of the bridge and to the east, so that's cool. And... Uh, Hopefully we find something we can use. They took the uh, the trainer flight glitch out in this game, I'm pretty sure. But you could do it here, pretty famously. Uh, Brelu. I like Brelu. It's pretty cool. It's a cool guy. Let's go for the Fury Cutter. Bam. Kablam. Oh yeah, it's just neutral because he's part fighting. So that's an interesting one. Breloom is like the uh, Polyrath of grass types, except for that he's not a third stage, so he's probably not as uh, his stat totals probably not as high. I don't know though. Um, I know he's pretty good. He's really fast, and he learns Spore. I'd love to have a Breloom. Spore is awesome. Level 28, Grendel. Politoed. I will stay in. I do like Politoed though. Speaking of Polyrath, that's interesting. Couple of couple of brothers. Polyrath and Politoed both evolved from Poliwhirl. That's why I said that. That's why I said they're brothers, people. Get your facts straight, people. I don't know, would they be brothers or cousins? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I should get my facts straight too, huh? I do know this for a fact, that I just used, used Absorb. Boom. Disprove that. You can't. Water gun. We eat that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Actually, we drink it. We drink it up. I drink your milkshake. <laughs> I drink it up! I just didn't, I really didn't want to like scream in you people's ears, but I could do a much better Daniel Plainview impression than that. I'm just not going to do it right now because it's too loud. And uh, shout out to that movie. By the way, there will, there will be blood. One of the greatest movies of all time. If you have not watched it, you can, e you can even stop watching this video right now and watch that movie. Then come back to the video. Just open a new tab. And, uh, I don't know if it's on Netflix. It was for a long time, I don't know. I'm sure you could stream it somewhere. Open another tab on whatever device you're using. Your computer, your phone, your tablet. I don't know. I don't know what you, 
what kind of stuff you got, but if it's really cool, send me a picture of it. Let me know, because I, I, I like cool stuff, but whatever. Whatever you're watching this video on right now, pause the video after I'm done explaining the instructions. Wait until the instructions are completed. Then pause the video. Then open a new tab. Then find There Will Be Blood in a streaming... Uh, <laughs> from a streaming service that you use. Watch the movie. Comment to me what Daniel Plainview says to Eli the Preacher. No relation. Uh, after the big, like, he gives his big, uh, performance. Let's call it that. Tell, comment in the comments down below what Daniel Plainview says to him so that I know that you watched the movie and then finish this video. All right, go do that. I'm going to continue playing and I'm going to fight the survivor. Don't worry. Okay. I, I got this. You, you go watch that. And then when you get back, I'll still be here and we can just finish this video out then. But I just want you to watch There Will Be Blood, because it's so fucking good. And don't forget to comment the quote. Anyways. Uh, fun fact about that movie. I don't think there's any, like, talking at all for, like, the first, uh, 10 or 11 minutes. Which is pretty crazy. It's, just, it's uh... It's on another level. Um... Excuse me, but it's got Daniel Day-Lewis in it. He's excellent. Probably the best actor of all time. He's the only person to ever win three uh, best actor in a leading role Oscars. Ever. I'm not sure... Um, I'm not sure if anybody's ever won best actress in a female role three times. Possibly. Possibly Meryl Streep. But... Um, I personally hate the term actress. I think it's kind of diminishing. Like, why do they need a separate word? In both, they're all actors. I, I feel like actress is like a. It seems like less than. It's like, it's like a different version of this word. I don't know. I think. Uh, I don't know, I think it's like a sign of respect or something. I always thought it would be like, if I was a female actor, I'd want to be called an actor. Not an actress. I was singled out because I'm a woman. But I don't know. I don't know. If you're, if you're an actor, a female actor, and you like to be called actress, let me know in the comments below. I definitely don't want to be like insulting to people that like I'm trying to show respect to. So If I have... Uh, touched a nerve if you if you fall into that category let me know so definitely don't want to be talking shit but I do want to beat this Blissey Blissey is such a tank man my goodness good golly wow I it's like that was like one HP like legit straight up one because <laughs> uh, I couldn't even see it uh, just FYI, I actually, I'm like, I'm, I'm using a computer, but I actually stand while I'm recording uh, these videos. So I'm a little bit far away from the um, screen, and I, it just didn't look like there was any red there. Um, yeah, I find, like, because I do all this stuff on these videos, I record it and edit them and do everything. And so I'm sitting in my chair, like, a lot, and I figured... I can't edit standing up, but I can definitely play Pokemon standing up, so that's what I do, people. Also, on that note, in the, the, that vein, <clears throat> trying to be a little healthier, make better positive choices in my life. I've been walking a lot this week. I know that's not like, oh wow, you took a walk? Great, man. But like, like I just said, I spent a lot of time sitting at my desk like working on this, uh, these, this content for you people. And uh, so I've been making a point every day to take like an extended long walk and uh, like it doesn't hurt that I love Pokemon Go and I can just play that while I'm doing it but I've done I walked 10 miles uh, two out of the last three days and uh, feel great my knee is kind of bugging me because I haven't really walked that much in a long time but uh, that'll go away um, it'll, it'll toughen up 
but yeah, man, it, it feels great to like get your heart rate up. I know it's just walking, but that's a long walk, man. That's, that's a very, very long walk. It, you might not think your heart rate goes up from walking, but if you walk 10 miles, I bet you it will. <laughs> I was sweating my ass off. And uh, yeah, it was, it was cool. And I got a lot of uh, stuff in Pokemon Go, too, which was fun. Neat and fun. Let's go get this encounter. We got two minutes left. We probably get two encounters. I think there's an item up here too. Master Ball. TM40. Sleep Talk. This doesn't help me much because I don't have anything with rest. Let's get something good. Hmm, <laughs> <coughs> man. Wow. Whatever. Weedle, join the team. Join the family. Oh my god. Alright. I don't know why I invited you on the team, because I don't even want... I'm not... You're not coming on the team, dude. <laughs> Screw you, Weedle. Let's see what this guy has. I saw my feet in the grass. It looked like it said feet with an A. That's pathetic. If that's the case. I, mean, I don't want to believe that that's what it said, but it, it looked like it. My eyes may have tricked me. Here's hoping. Hit you with the mud shot. Every time I say hit you with, it makes me think of the ducklet rap from original 151. Hit you with the crit and the super effective damage. I have I mean, I... If you are not new to the channel, then you know that I love original 151. Shout out to Vinny. But, uh... I mean, we don't. He doesn't know me. But <laughs> I've never listened to that whole song, mostly because Dobbs like wouldn't let you do it in the verses. In the verses. Uh, so you should blame Dobbs for that. If you ever watch this, Vinny, uh, blame Dobbs. Let him know I said that. It's his fault. But uh, you can also blame Dobbs for me defeating that rich girl, Mallory. Just so that it's not like pile on Dobbs day, because Dobbs is the shit. And we got 20 seconds left. I, I'm gonna heal. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get into anything else, any other kind of encounter at all. No. Well, that's alright. Uh, well, people. And that's time, right there. Boom. Got a little bit of an extended episode today. Maybe might have been like 45 minutes. Hard to tell because it can't. I haven't edited it yet. So, well, I got you here on the hook. Uh, now that the gameplay's all done, I just wanted to uh, take this opportunity, as I always do, to remind you people that you are uh, an incredible person, filled with potential to change the world in a positive way or a negative way, if you. If you choose to uh, be irresponsible about it, it could it could be bad too. But within you is the ability to make like every day better than the day before by making small changes. Like uh, like I was saying last time, I'm trying to eat better. Uh, I've been eating less like candy and bread and stuff. And uh, also, I've been exercising. I've made a, a goal to. Uh, to uh, average like 10,000 steps a day so um, I'm on my way to that and uh, I just want why don't you uh, if you feel like it if you feel up to sharing why don't you let us know in the comments below like what what kind of goal do you think you could set and achieve that would make your life better today than it was yesterday um, you know putting stuff out into the universe uh, so sometimes not even sometimes almost all the time like allows your mind to it becomes concrete once you actually say your goal out loud instead of it just being in your brain it goes from like a conceptual thing into like I don't know it's like saying it with words makes you pick the word that describes I don't know it, it, it's an active process and it like uh, coalesces your ideas into something more concrete it's even better if you write it down and then you can like look at it and examine it but, uh, 
So why don't we all just set a goal? Like I said, I'm trying to get 10,000 steps per day average. Might have to build up to that though, because I really don't want to blow my knee out. I, I'm not. I sometimes it hurts. I, I'm not trying to be a baby, but I don't. I'm not a kinesiologist either, so I don't know. I don't want to hurt myself. But um, yeah, it's been great. It feels really good, even if it's not a big goal. When you know that you did the thing that you were counting on yourself to do, you didn't let yourself down. There is no better feeling than that. Sorry about that. My cats act like fucking clowns and they just knocked my controller off my desk idiots anyways apologies for the sound um, and in spite of their idiocy I genuinely do love these cats like the, with my whole heart so <laughs> normally I use them as an example of something that makes me feel good but they just did something really stupid and uh, it seems kind of weird but I'm still you know what I don't care there's just silly little cats. I love them with all my heart, and uh, they make me feel good. So I'm going to picture them, and I hope that you're picturing something in your mind that just brings you joy and uh, makes you makes you want to achieve that small goal to make the world a little better for that that thing or that person or whatever it is. So keep that image in your mind, whatever it may be. My cats, your friends, children, parents, whoever, whatever it is that makes you feel joy. And just think of it, remember that you have the potential to change somebody's life for the better. And that it's not as difficult as it sounds. And uh, like this video, comment on it, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. I am Eli, a.k.a. Super Kid, a.k.a. Clint Swift, a.k.a. The Man in the Zebra Print Headband, a.k.a. Mama There Goes That Man in the Zebra Print Headband. Shout out to Mark Jackson. Signing off and saying peace and love. Thanks for watching. <laughs>